Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday, December the 5th, and it's 10.46 a.m. I wanted to get this put up yesterday, but I didn't get back to it. This is, uh, this is bad. This is really bad. And I can't believe it was reported by CNBC. Yeah, that's right, mainstream media. Get a $1,500 stimulus check, and then it goes dot, 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 from CNBC.com, delivered by Google, under the personal finance section of their online publication, I suppose. It has to be, since it's online. All right, here's the title, the full title. Would you be willing to get a COVID vaccine in exchange for a $1,500 stimulus check? How one bold proposal would work. Published Thursday, December 3rd. What did I say it was? The 5th. That's what I thought. This was written, uh, done, article done by Lori Konish at Lori Konish, L-O-R-I-E-K-O-N-I-S-H. Key points. Americans are eager for more one-time stimulus checks. How many of you are still waiting for the first one? While the U.S. government is working to get COVID-19 vaccinations to the American public, now one, for, uh, now, one proposal from former Congressman John Delaney aims to help both sides by providing stimulus checks in exchange for getting vaccinated. Wow, John Delaney, what a great idea. The goal to reach a 75% vaccination rate faster, which could save both lives and the U.S. economy. Keep people at work. If they're vaccinated, they can all go back to work, right? Gee, that sounds like such a good idea. Except we know it's the mark of the beast, and it'll send you to hell. So is a $1,500 check going to be worth it? How about getting to work? What if you have kids? Oh, I'm wanting to chew on my lip. I hate it when I get chapped lips. Sorry. This is so not about me. Th that's all I got on this, and I don't even have a link to go to more. It was sent to me in my email by one of our sisters, uh, Aubrey. Aubrey sent me this. I guess I could go to cnbc.com. Let me see if I can find more. I should have done that already. I, I kind of thought the whole article would be there. All right, let's go to cnbc.com. Okay. Oh, now they're showing dead bodies in white bags. Click whitelist. Please support our journalism by allowing ads. Okay. Ad blocker. Turn off. Refresh. All right. Right off the bat, you're seeing stacks of what has to be, I, I'm thinking it's either three very long people or two, and they're kind of overlapped onto each other. Oh, how disgusting. Stay-at-home order issued for San Francisco ahead of state mandate. It says COVID is killing more than 2,000 people a day in the U.S., as infections and hospitalizations hit records. I don't believe it. 
They lied before. Who's to say they're not lying again? They may be dying. They may have the flu. They may have an underlying heart condition and the COVID just made them cough more and put more strain on their already overstrained heart. So they died of heart failure and they're calling it died of COVID. You know what I mean. All right, so where, how do I find that article? Well, I'll try to find it and put it in the description box. How about that? I just wanted to tell you, they're offering money now. Because I think they know they're going to have some problems in giving it. And threatening us with the military to give it in a 24-hour period? That didn't go over big, did it? Anyway, I'll end it there. I'll try to find the link. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.